IMCPL is a proud partner in a project enabling 1,500 IPS students in 4th and 5th grades to inspire children at Wishard Health Services to never give up. The Soaring Words Project is a national charity involving students creating personalized messages and artwork to donate to ill children. Volunteers from Eli Lilly and Company, Citizens Energy Group, Indianapolis Power and Light, and ProLiance Energy mentored the students as part of the United Way of Central Indiana's Read Up program. The local Soaring Words Project kicked off October 21st at IPS School 58. Read Up students in fourth and fifth grade will be participating in three programs such as this that we are doing today. Today is Soaring Words. They are making fables for students that are going to be in the hospital, which is a wonderful, wonderful way to make something and give back to our community. I always stress to the kids that we can ask and ask and ask and get all these things, but it's also important for us to give of ourselves. So now we are able to do something that will provide something for the kids at Wishard. Well, United Way is in 15 of the schools doing the Read Up program, which is a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday tutoring program for fourth and fifth graders. And Eli Lilly supports us so much with donating so many tutor hours to us. And so we've teamed up with them to make the Soaring Words Project a success, and it's going really well in 15 schools today. So we're excited. Ten years ago, my son was seriously ill, and he had a really full recovery, and we were very lucky. But at that time, we saw how isolating it was when a child misses four months of school, and all of his classmates and the teachers and the school nurse and people in the community wanted to do something positive to help. And each year, 22 million kids in America have a serious illness. One out of five children has a chronic illness or a catastrophic illness. That's a staggering number of kids. Soaring Words' mission is to inspire millions of kids to never give up. We want to have healthy kids like the children from IPS come and spend five minutes or two hours making a soaring fable or a haiku, soaring superhero or a message that can be given to kids at Wishard, but also it can go on our website, soaringwords.org, and kids all around the world can get this message that a child made for another child. And it can really create a transformation to know that someone's thinking about you and sharing their creativity and sharing their warmth. It makes a world of difference. This is about the power to heal. This is about people in the hospital, three people, I made them something, so make them feel good. I got a joke and made a little picture down there. Are your friends that play together, stay together? I know one of our lions is hey. going to a waterfall. It's a small group activity, so they're speaking out, they're reading, they're writing, they're applying the lessons they've learned thus far this year and, and the years preceding that. So we're happy to put them in this in this situation because we feel like it's going to take help them get to another level, the level where they need to be so they can continue to achieve. You want to do it? Okay. So right now she called it. She became afraid. I'm working on a king and a lion, the pink people, and I'm making a background. I'm making a background, a waterfall, and they're under the waterfall. Playing. These children, through their generosity of their time and their effort, will have an opportunity to have their parents and families see the great work that they did. And that's the role that the public library can play. We are going to display all of the artwork and all of the stories that the children did here today at our library branches. So these children can go home today and they can say to mom and dad, guess what I did? I, I helped heal a, 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 a sick child at Wishard Hospital and you can come and see my work at, at the local branch library. We've been very successful this year in getting additional tutors beyond what we had last year. And um, I'm serving as a coordinator for the Soaring Words program for School 58. And we've had an excellent uh, response from employees and getting them to come out to help with the children. Even some employees have recruited their spouses and uh, other relatives to come out and help out with the endeavor. Isn't, isn't dolphins supposed to wear uh, like a dress or something? Oh, it's a girl. Yeah, the dolphin's a girl, so make sure we put a dress on her. Okay.
are stories about polar bear, a, a uh, very serious polar bear, and a fearless, funny dolphin who go on to land to take a treasure, keep it all to themselves, but then when they got in trouble, realized it was good to share their good fortune with others. The artwork and messages from IPS fourth and fifth graders to wish your children have been digitized and will be on display at Central Library and various IMCPL locations throughout the year. To learn more, visit us online at imcpl.org. The public library is going to be sort of the um, the refrigerator door for, for the, the work that the children did here today so they can show it off and everybody, all the relatives can be proud of what the children accomplished.